Hey friends, welcome to Tori Talks TV. This is our Fab Five. Today's Fab Five is a special one. It's the top five Game of Thrones season eight halfway point predictions. Okay, these are our top five predictions because we are now, we are basically like halfway through yes. season eight. And this is the halftime show. Yes. This halftime is our report. halftime show. That's okay, good. halftime report. Right, so, you know, we made some predictions already. Mm hmm not doing so well but um now based on what has happened we have more predictions okay. so let's yes. start with you dr s what's your number five okay so based on what's happened um and what has happened yes is um so one of the things that's happened that cersei has um told Bronn, the cell sword that he uh -huh. is to go kill her brothers both yes. of them yes so my prediction is that because you know he's gonna do it he's been saying from the beginning that he is a cell sword you know what that means, right? No. He is a sword for sale. Oh! He'll do anything for money. Gotcha. My prediction is that he is going to prove that he's not just a sell sword. Oh, what? That he has loyalty to Tyrion <sighs> and Jaime. And I hope I so. I think they're going to make it seem like he is going to do Cersei's bidding, but in the final moment, boom, his loyalty is going to come into play. You know, I really would like that, okay? I'm, Can we make that happen? I'm a hopeful person. I really like that prediction. I'm in favor of that prediction because, like, for once, can you not do what we think you're going to do? Like, you know, what is expected of you? Yeah. That's cool. Okay. Okay. My number five, it's nothing exciting, nothing new, but I believe it more than ever. I think that Danny is pregnant with John's child. I know we, like, had talked about that, and I thought that all along because, like, all of the foreshadowing from, like, seasons past where she's mm -hmm. like, I can't bear children, that witch mm -hmm. told me. How, mm -hmm. how many times do you have to say that? Yeah. Like, I think yeah. that we needed to hear it for some reason, so we got it in our head. Oh, she's barren. She can't have children. I think you can have children, and yes. I think she's I think she's going to have yes. a little John. Or little, little Danny. Targaryen her belly. Baby. Little Targaryen baby. Yeah, I think so. So, but like now more than ever, I believe it to be true. We have three episodes left. It's going to happen. It's it's going to happen. They set it up for that. I think so too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's hope so. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Moving on to number four. What is your number four prediction? My number four is, um, so remember <laughs> back in season, I believe it was two, Brad had these visions. Mm -hmm. And one was that dragons would fly over King's Landing. And the previous Three-Eyed Raven said he will never walk again, but he will fly. Yeah. Well, Bran's supposed to ride a dragon, dang it. <gasps> oh, that's how he's going to fly? It hadn't happened yet, but he saw it in his vision. And how could he see the shadow of a dragon in his vision if he's not riding a dragon? Oh, that makes sense. It's Bran's point of view. Okay. He's going to ride a dragon over King's Landing. I don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> He's going to get to King's Landing by way of dragon. Yeah, I don't I know get... what he's going to do when he gets there or what his role will be. But it's Well, gonna... how else are we going to get Bran there? Right. That's the fastest way. I know. I mean. Okay. Yeah. So anyways. I know I know what you're saying. Because like, why have that vision? It unless something happen. It yeah. has to happen. It's going to be epic. Exactly. Stay tuned. <laughs> yep. So let's go to my number four. Okay. okay. So my number four is, okay, it's a little far-fetched, but I don't care. I'm going to say it anyway. Okay. So I believe that Gendry is actually a true-born Baratheon and not a bastard at all. I believe he is the child of Cersei oh. and Robert Baratheon. I really do, because remember she had talked about this black-haired baby boy that died? Yes. No. I think that she really did have this baby, and this really... I mean, she obviously had the baby, yeah. but I think that because it came out black hair, mm -hmm. I think that she, like, sold him off to whoever the people are that make this stuff. Oh. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I just, I, I don't know. Why is Gendry still around, still in season eight? What purpose does he serve? It? It's probably a big one. So, I just have a funny feeling. That's good. I like that. About it. Wouldn't that be cool? That's very interesting. Yeah. So then he would be a true say it, heir say it. to the Iron Throne? Yep. Yep. So, what if, what if it comes down to Gendry versus John? I don't know. Just saying. More rightful than John? Debatable. Okay. Debatable. But, um,. It's hard for me to keep track of them. Yeah, I'm literally I know. asking to know. But I, and I would like, if anybody can answer that, please comment below. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> All right. On that note, one. thanks. That's totally possible. Fingers crossed. I mean, he does serve other purposes. <laughs> yeah, well, that's he true. He makes weapons. He gets it on he with Arya. Helps, yeah, checks off bucket list items. <laughs> Good looking. Yeah. Easy on the eyes. Yeah. Many purposes. But there's you know, more. There's rolling more. Westeros could be it. Yeah, let's okay. hope so. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go to okay. our number three. Is what's your number three? My number three is that Danny and John will fight, L like, like a little lovers fight. quarrel. No, 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 oh. like fight to the death. 
<gasps> one will die. Ooh. Don't know. I I haven't decided which one. I don't know. I don't know which one. Targaryen versus Targaryen. I don't know if baby Targaryen will already be born or not when this happens. Oh, either. Okay. I don't know. I am yeah. just saying that they are gonna fight over something. But like physically. Like literally fight with swords and fire and stuff. Domestic like, violence. No two no. Oh no. Oh. Like overthrown. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. <laughs> and over the north. Like there's stuff there's stuff happening. Cause John's for the north and Danny's all about the Iron Throne and mm-hmm. they're at odds. It's like irreconcilable differences. To the extreme. There is the fight's gonna happen and I don't know who's gonna win. I guess we'll have to see. We'll have to wait and find out. Okay. Yeah, good one. <laughs> um <laughs> my number three is plain and simple. I think that Cersei is going to miscarry. Oh. I think that that baby's gonna be lost. Oh. You know, remember that witch? Or not yes. the witch, the fortune teller, mm-hmm. Maggie the Frog or something like that? <laughs> and she was like, all your children are going to die. Yes. So, okay, if that rings true, then that child in her belly is going to mm-hmm. die. So I think that she will have a miscarriage. I'm not wishing that upon her. Right. That is a terrible thing to wish on her, even though she's a terrible lady and evil. Mm-hmm. I just think that that's going to happen because there's a lot going on. She's probably very stressed out. I mean, it could be a total anomaly or it could be because Maggie the Frog said so. The frog. Is that her name? I don't believe she's pregnant. I think she's lying. Uh, like, want that soap opera trick. Mm. Like, I'm pregnant. Oh. Or she is. It's Euron's baby. I was going to say, she's probably going to tell him. It's your baby. Yeah. You have to fight with me now. Jamie believes it, but Jamie's kind of a sucker. Oh. Something's going to happen with that baby either way, regardless. <sighs> so. Okay. Let's move on to our number two predictions. So, okay. what's your number two? My number two, speaking of Jamie, <clears throat> is that Jamie will kill Cersei. What? He will slay the not her twin, the Mad Queen. Oh. And he will earn the nickname Queen Slayer. <laughs> two nicknames, yes. King and Queen Slayer. That's I mean, cool. I feel like that's, that's cool. the poetic justice that has to happen in that relationship. Okay. You know, like she. It has. He to. takes out rulers who are crazy it has to come down to that yeah yeah that's what he does whoa that would be crazy cool if it happened though queen slayer <laughs> it's fitting but she's not really a queen because she's kind of like she, well she thinks she's, she's in the queen. throne warm right right, right, right. Exactly, yeah <laughs> oh that's juicy okay so my number two i'm sorry to say i believe that Arya will die <sighs> before she can cross cersei off her list okay Okay, so I love Arya, one of my most favorite characters of all of Game of Thrones, but I think that, very similar to our lovely Lyanna Mormont, I believe that she will go down fighting, and I believe that she will be so close, but she will not kill Cersei. I believe another person will, but we'll talk about that later. I think that that's totally possible, because she's already had so many awesome moments, right? and now we're like, okay, so she'll be the one to take Cersei. No, no, no. Nothing ever happens the way we expect it right. to. She already got Frey. Uh-huh. She got um, the Night King. Mm-hmm. She's not going to get Cersei. Yeah, and like, she got Littlefinger. Oh my gosh. She so got all the major ones. She got ones. some good, and yeah, out of the blue, surprised us all, so we already want her to kill Cersei. It's probably not going to happen. I just don't think it's going to happen. Exactly, yeah. So yeah. I think that... And and I maybe think... it will, because we don't think it will. Oh! <sighs> Oh, let's just hope. <laughs> but I but I don't even think that she's not going to kill her. I think she's going to die before yeah. she can kill her. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, Dr. S, are you ready okay. for our number one prediction? This is at the halfway point of season okay. eight. Are you ready? What is your number one My prediction? number one is, um, so we did a list before season eight. My number one is still the same. No, it's not. It is. Sansa and Tyrion will be reunited and rewed. Mm. Love. Love. Because of that little moment they had, they, that bonding moment yes, they had in the crypt. I, you know, first two episodes, I was like, you know, maybe I was wrong. <laughs> they don't, like, she thinks he's an idiot. There's no connection. But then, you know, truth comes out when you're fearing for your life. <laughs> and they do a lot of that whole, like, she's like, oh, it would never work between you and I. But then, yeah. like, usually that means, like, it's probably going to work. Yeah. <laughs> That's they, just the way they do it yeah. in Game of Thrones. Yeah. They yeah. had a moment, and, you know, he's That's... very charming, and she, you know, has always appreciated the way that he respected her. I think her. you're right. I'm waiting for it. I think that prediction And is they what? could rule. It's going to take it <gasps> oh, further. Oh, can you imagine the two of them? if Dan and Johnny fight, and what if they kill each other? They could kill each other. Yeah. I mean, they could die. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> and that, that I wouldn't and be then, mad if the, they were left to rule. That would be. Rule them all. Yeah, yeah. 
I, I actually agree with that one. I think you're right. I think you have something there. Okay. That's a really good one. I, think. I like that you stuck to that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So my number one prediction for the rest of season eight is that Tyrion is going to be the person who kills Cersei. Oh, yes. I you like that. You think Jamie? I think Tyrion. One of them two needs to do it. Maybe together. Oh, oh that kind of seems kind of mean. Why does that seem Join like forces. Oh, maybe they'll help each other. No, I think, I mean, she hates Tyrion. And, like, what better way, like, what better person to kill yeah. her? Than, I mean, she's just been nothing but awful to him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, she's been plotting his death since, since like, he was born. Exactly. Pretty much, yeah. Ooh, I like so, that. I'm thinking Tyrion will be the one because Tyrion's got to do something big. Come yeah, on. I mean, true. Tyrion does great things, but, like, to, like besides killing his father, you know, mm-hmm. to take her out, he's a Lannister killer. <laughs> Who's better at killing Lannister, oh, right? Yes. Like, I mean, exactly. And the last, the first few episodes of season three, he hasn't had a moment yet. I know. He's kind of just been like. He needs his mm-hmm. moment. Yeah. And I will talk about a prophecy that was that was not in, in the the show, but I know it was in the books. I didn't read the books, but I, I read about this, is that one of the things that that fortune teller said was that the person that's going to take her out is Val- Valakor, mm-hmm. meaning little brother. Yeah. Well, Jamie's a little brother too. Apparently, she was born first, so it could be Jamie. But, but he's a little brother, and she's always saying to Jamie, "Oh, our little brother." She doesn't refer mm. to him as Tyrion. She says, "Oh, our little brother." But doesn't she this. mean little? It, I mean, how much more literal can you get? <laughs> little brother. But he's the little yeah. brother. Oh yes. Mm-hmm. So that's my prediction. Oh my gosh, can you imagine, Tyrion? I want this for you so bad. That'd be really cool. It would be amazing. I like that our number ones have to do with Tyrion. Go, yes. Tyrion! It's your time to shine. He's the star. Ooh, oh, he really is. Well, we will find out what yes. happens, and we're so excited. So if you guys have yes. any predictions, please let us know. Comment below. Everybody, can't wait to see you next time. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Bye, everybody!